worth worth trying out uh, if you if you like this sort of game. Necro Fugitive, awesome. You like the art? Yeah, it is. It is a good, it's a good uh, style to it, and the lighting is pretty. Yeah. Hello, fellow humans. Nice humidity out here. <laughs> you you <laughs> are you really attached to that spine? They are not. I tried. <laughs> they are not that attached. <laughs> All right, that was that was an interesting one. Right, next up in uh, today's discovery stream. Star Vaders. That's not about stealth. I know that much. It's also available as a demo on stream. See, for example, Necro Fugitive, right? Two people follow that on Twitch. Two. And on Steam, it's a demo. Um, so there are no comments yet because you can't comment on a demo, which is fair. And there is a, a two pages of discussion already. Someone asks, if it, is, it, is it inspired by prototype? Which is an interesting question. Uh, some find it hard to go past level two. Others are stuck at level three. So there's a lot of um attention here in the discussion on steam uh considering it's only two people following it on twitch hopefully the next fest that will start in two three days will uh, help the game get a bit more attention because i think it deserves it so um star vaders right it's the next one that's what i said yeah yep 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 star vaders has one follower so I'm showing you games that are running under the radar at the moment, right? One of the reasons I do these streams. Um, this is a viewer recommendation, which is also always very nice if people tell me about games that I can check out. Um, did I change that properly? Yes, I did. Also demo on Steam this one. Did I press the button? I think we should be at three three eighty. Oh no, only with only with this one. I was too early. <laughs> Miscounted. So Star Vaders. Um doesn't have any resolution settings, so it's looking a bit blurry on my end. It shouldn't on your end. Uh, it shouldn't on your end. So, um, bit of bit of a thing in in, in terms of um, I'm going to drop affiliate status uh, by the end of the year because uh, I'm not streaming on a regular basis, and I don't want you guys to give half of your support to Twitch. Oh. Uh, I have no way of turning off subscribing, so I need to drop the affiliation agreement uh, that I have with Twitch. That's why it says no subs, please, in the uh, on the top of the screen, right? Instead, you can support my streaming with uh, a donation via Ko-Fi. Uh, Ko-Fi. I think they call it Ko-Fi. Um, uh, right? So if you feel inclined to support the stream, do it with Ko-Fi, please. Um, because the subscription will be running out and uh, there's not a lot you get from it anyway right and i don't get a lot of it anyway uh so there's that i just meant to mention that uh, coffee let's have a look at star Vaders. defend the skies hi i'm tippy and i'm here to teach you how to pilot your mech okay says doom up here that's cute to win you must destroy all invaders play cards from your hand to move your mech or attack the invader select the card to okay so we've got me goals they move down each turn space invader style We've got a heat meter. Playing cards generates heat. Overheating will burn the played card and immediately end your turn. 
Invaders will generate doom if not destroyed in time. At 10 doom, you lose the game. Rewind. Spend chrono tokens to rewind to the start of this turn and reshuffle your cards. You draw cards from this pile. There's five cards on it. We can actually also see what's in there. There's a discard pile, which we can also look at. But it's currently empty. And then you can end the turn. Right. The gunner is our mech. We can move up two tiles. We can fire one bullet upward. Yeah, let's shoot. Pew. Now I would move here and shoot the other one. Cards with flames means they will overheat when played, which burns the card and immediately ends your turn. Your burned cards are temporarily unplayable until the end of the encounter. Can't reach them anyway. So I can end the turn. Which dissipates the heat again. Interesting. A Nova Bomb spawns uh, four tiles away. When destroyed, the tile strikes adjacent. Let's put that here. I wonder if they will trigger it when they move down or if they will be stopped. Uh, so I'm going to move over here. And then I'm going to move over here. And then I'll wait. Ah, they move diagonally if they are blocked instead of down. Some invaders will attack you at the end of your turn. Being struck isn't that bad though. You will only gain temporary junk card. Okay. So invaders reaching the bottom is bad. But this would kill three with one shot. I like it. And then I can move over here. And shoot. And that's it. You get a junk card now. In the discard? Or in the draw pile? Here's a gift. Check your artifacts. You know your portrait. What? Yeah, I see. I see it. I can't check it. Okay, so we have this situation and then I move to the left I can't check out the artifact and it seems a bit like a, like a bug. oh yeah Wiggles I wrote, uh, I wrote you a message about um, well I suggested that you stop doing the auto payment on PayPal uh, I do actually prefer Kofi yeah. they are taking the least amount off of your donations I mean, PayPal's fine, right? If you if you want to continue it via PayPal, that's quite all right. But I just uh, oh no 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 worries. I just try to to reach you in time because my regular streams are not as regular anymore, right? And you might want to reconsider the frequency of the support. <laughs> I felt like that was fair. But yeah, I mean, if you if you prefer PayPal, if if, if it's all the same to you, you can keep doing it via PayPal. It's it's, it's no problem. Uh, Discord, yeah. It was Discord, if I remember correctly. Or maybe I wrote... I wrote uh... No, it must have been Discord, I think. Okay, let's end the turn. Alien activity. Alright. Now, I'm going to shoot them. Move over here. Place a bomb here, as in preparation for what they're doing next turn. Right, and then I can move over here and nuke them. Wee! Hey, Chris, welcome in! Happy Saturday! We are at game number three today. And it's probably been running for five minutes at least. <laughs> Yay! I got time to stream today. <laughs> was a super busy week 
right? First first week uh, on a new job is always super busy, but um, I do not need to work on Saturdays, which I thought I had to. Uh, good news and all that. <laughs> uh, which means more work during the week, but it means more time on the weekends. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Um, yeah. Chris, how is it going? Soul. I managed to get eight games for today. And uh, I, I can't tell you when the next stream is going to happen. Probably next weekend. Maybe. Hopefully, right? Hey, Duncan. Uh, I do not play Dungeons and Dragons, no. I have uh, been growing up in uh, Germany with the Dark Eye instead, which is our equivalent to Dungeons and Dragons, I guess. Right? So I did, uh, I did do pen and paper role playing way back, like 20 years ago and more, <laughs> 20 and more years ago. But yeah, it was mostly Shadowrun uh, and the Dark Eye. Would I have? A con no, not really. I, I really don't have the time to get into another <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, no, 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 no. Nah. I, w I would actually not. Not because I hate it, actually. I do, I do think there's, there are some cool systems there. I played Baldur's Gate and some other D&D uh, based games, right? Where the rule set is in the background or in the foreground, depending on the game. Uh, but I would not. I would not. I don't have- I simply don't have the time. <laughs> so, after finishing the first level, we can pick a card to add to our deck. Mm. Oh right, that's the heat generation here, that's important. So this one fires one bullet upward that splits on two- into two on hit. The first entity in the fire direction, okay. Uh, push your mech down. Your next card played gets plus one repeat. Oh, I like this. Oh, fire. Oh, okay. All three cards are really interesting. That's good. That's really good. Push your mech down. And the next card gets a repeat. Cards that have repeat will trigger the entire effect that many additional times without repeating the costs. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, shooting a bomb uh, to have them shoot bullets is also nice. Hawaii requests aid. Here we get an upgrade. I want an upgrade. I want to see how that works. Can we see the ominous artifact that's been talked about? Yeah. The first time you overheat, draw two cards to get two heat. Sink. Ah, okay. So next turn we could play five. Interesting. You can play with the overheat. Maybe it's an encounter. I have to click on proceed. Right. You just came back from work, Chris? Oh, okay. Now the, now the weekend can begin. Some entities can gain a shield which must be broken before they can be destroyed. The Rocketeer shield there shoots rockets at you every other turn. Okay. Swarmers, when your turn ends, destroys itself not if not adjacent to another swarmer. Interesting. This is a puzzly little deck builder with a bit of Tetris and Space Invaders mixed in. Hence the name Star Vaders, probably, right? Uh, that, that's it's really smart. Okay, I don't need to move down, but I kind of want to see if I can move out of the rocket range here. The danger zone. <laughs> the danger zone. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously. Okay. Uh... That would move. No, I don't want that. So we shoot. We shoot that, and we shoot that, and then we do the overheat thingy. Um. 
Oh yeah, I can't shoot there. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. We didn't do the overheat. We did. We did. Okay, we've got more cards, and now we can play five. Ah, uh, I mean, this would work well on a mobile device. So... But yeah, it doesn't seem as casual as it looks. Like, you know. When destroyed, gain a crown token. Flies away two turns after spawning. A time angel. Right, okay, let's spawn a bomb here. Which would kill this one, which in turn makes this one self-destruct, as well as this one in the following turn. Angel or not, right? So let's uh, move here. Yeah, the shield's broken, but we don't have another uh, shooty card. Right, they are gone. They move forward. Fire, hot. Uh, I'm gonna prime and then Oh, what's going on? <laughs> nice. So finally the, the, the German voice uh, uh text to speech is is doing the English Text again. Awesome. <laughs> Cardinal Vickers. Last time it didn't really work. I'm not sure why. It's a bit it's a bit wonky apparently, but that that's that's supposed to be like this. <laughs> it's supposed to sound exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very uh <laughs> it's very German. <laughs> I think the bot's name is Karl. <laughs> that is also a very German name. Um, like I'm in a bad position for a double shot here. I can go here. Oh, and then oh, the next card. Oh, just Nemo. Oh, no, I don't want to. No, cancel. Why? Why can you not cancel this one? gonna redo that <laughs> I, I balls it up so you did and then I'm gonna move there and shoot Heal board and turn damage damage oh Invaders that reach the bottom three rows or survive for too long will start channeling doom. <gasps> Can't stop him. It's kind of hard to reach them though, isn't it? Oh, I burned that card. I can't play. I thought. Yeah, okay. kept burning the cards right now i understand okay we collected one doom now uh but this turn is easy we can just do it like this yeah okay i ruined i ruined that a bit <laughs> what took you about 30 minutes to figure one out i'm confused i'm sorry i'm confused a lot uh, and this is just a bit too loud, isn't it? Don't want to shout. Oh, the Kofi thing. Yeah, the, it's not. It's not super intuitive. Um, uh, and then it's overlapping with the Streamlabs bot somehow. I need to look at that in detail and see that only the Kofi thing triggers, because it's the only channel where I will want to receive notifications and all that. It's a bit. You can ignore that. You can just you can just try to <laughs> try to support, which is awesome, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's 
super generous. And it goes it goes into games and coffee and electricity bills, right? I'm not hoarding the money. <laughs> okay, so we've got swift, risky, and tactical. Push your mech down, your next card play. Yeah, okay, I've got another prime already. While in a danger zone repeat, so they've got a modifier. Cards with the modifier. Move up to two tiles before the effects when played. Nice. Move up to two tiles, draw a card. Nah, the swift one is good. I want that. Cairo. So I upgraded the card with the modifier. That's how that worked. Okay, let's get an artifact. I like this game. I like the thinky, the thinky bit of it, and the, the how you how you uh, change your cards, and the the cards are all the choices have all been interesting so far. Like if you pick up ten games where you build a deck of cards, uh, eight out of ten have very boring card upgrades. Sometimes only in the beginning, but most of them really just they they kind of miss the point of building a deck. It needs to be a fun one. Uh, all right, so this is not a total waste. Is it? I can move one forward. Oh yeah, and then it auto executes. Okay, that's it. Move to there, end the turn. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Move. Move one back. Double shot. Yeah, end the turn. Now we need to go over there. <gasps> They're accumulating the doom. Uh... That's the only way to get that one. Accumulate one more doom anyway. I'm gonna burn one of these to get rid of those two. Yeah, that one reached me with the doom. Now I'm gonna stop another doom from happening. Whoops. No, wrong button. Here I move and then I shoot, and then uh, I guess go over there. End the turn. Not ideal. We do another prime. Double shot. And then they will move diagonally, right? I think that way I can maybe. Remove those. And then there's only that one left. Boom. The move and shoot combo is really good. Ah, I like that. Quantum Flame. 50% chance of not burning cards. Oh, lovely. Unused heat sink is added to heat sink next turn. Yeah, I don't want to play like this. I would rather play like this. Each time you move into a danger zone, draw a card. Nice. Min's workshop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're cute. Uh, how much money cash do we have? Oh, here, 16,500. Okay. What's this? Your max a bomb. It detonates and strikes adjacent tiles when struck. So from gunner to to 
Okay. When struck. So moving into danger zones to get hit by a rocket to trigger this. Wow. Reduce the cost of push cards. Uh, misfire. Diagonal. Yay. For each one that misses, return a zero cost card from your discard to your hand. Okay. Funky. Fire one bullet up with the splits. And then we've got the Aegis Bomb on sale. Spawn an Aegis Bomb up to four times away. Okay, I'm gonna just... Yeah, this is a very good game because of the card choices. Oh, I, w oh, I wanted this. <laughs> Remove a card. Uh, no. Good luck. Thank you. Um... It's it's a very smart it's a very smart game with very smart cards. And that's the boss encounter. They can gain immunity. Oh. Immune until the the wings have been destroyed. Yeah, very shoot him up -y. <laughs> Um Right. We're just gonna shoot you, and then the other two go pop, and then uh, an Aegis bomb. Yeah, that looks very good. Uh, an over bomb that pushes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The, the <laughs> a, ro a rouge light. Um, I'm I'm very excited about I, I didn't know about that. I was keeping my focus on the Deep Rock Galactic Survivor thing. Meanwhile, they've been sneakily starting to develop a shooter thing. Which I'm very excited about, actually. Um, I'm going to do this like... Oh, I don't have a regular shot card. Yeah. Oh, the Aegis Bomb has a shield. Okay. I think that's actually going to work in my favor now. I'm just going to go back here and then end the turn. Oh, the Mothership's moving back. I didn't really expect that to happen. Uh, regular. A shot. Um. Yeah, I gained, I gained some junk. Then I move up here. Uh, no. We need to do this again. I made a mistake. Um, boom. Oh, yeah, enjoy the F1. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Yeah, the Aegis Bomb has a shield. And then I'm going to shoot off. Bit of the wing there. Oh, they, they can separate from the... Okay. <gasps> yeah, let's do that. Oh, the shield's broken. Okay. Pushing entities into other entities can trigger bomb explosions. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah, they they uh, they need some more focus from my from my end. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this wing down, and I hope they they cannot restore it just like that. Um, Second wing is not dying. We're gonna burn a card. Now the the mothership is not immune anymore. I can move here. Ah. Yeah. 
I move here and then I push. Chain reaction. Shield's broken. Oh, there was something in the way still. Ugh, crap. I win. NG89. Each turn, a random attack in your hand gets plus one repeat. Any shield broken by your bullets detonates, striking it. Oh, Holtzman shields. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Dune, Dune reference in this game. Very unexpected. Uh, creates a, what? Cards with bomb in their title cost one extra heat. Increase the radius of all detonations. I'm gonna get this one. Sweet! So, Star Vaders. Uh, if you're into puzzly card games, this one is really promising. I would, I would be able to play this for another hour now. 